Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll continue reviewing games, and the game I'm reviewing this time is Cute Generals 3Q. This is a game themed around the Three Kingdoms and falls under the RPG genre, but the main language is Chinese. Don't worry though, you can download the game from the 7X game app, which has a built-in translation feature to support international players. If you're not familiar with how to use 7X game, I'll also go over how to log in download the game, and use the translation feature in the app. First of all, 7X offers exclusive gift codes for this game. You can wait until the end of the video to see the code and the rewards, as the game requires you to reach level 10 to claim the gift code. Now I'll guide you on how to download the game using 7X and take advantage of the 99% discount on in-game purchases. First, you need to download the 7X app, and I'll leave the link in the description. Step one, click on the 7X icon to download games from China. There are a lot of games available here. To log in, click on me, and then enter your email address. I've hidden my email for a reason, so I hope you all understand. After that, go to your Gmail to copy the code. The email will look something like this. That's it. Now you just need to click on the search section, type the name of the game, and it will appear. English. All right, now let's get into the main topic. As mentioned earlier, this game is based on the theme of ancient China's Three Kingdoms, and it falls under the RPG genre, which is a popular choice among developers for mobile games. This is because it's easy for players to get into, and most mobile gamers are people who are often busy with a lot of work. My initial impression of the game is that it looks quite nice. Both the characters and the scenery are well crafted. However, since it's in 2D, I don't like it that much, as I've always preferred 3D visuals. The game doesn't have much of a storyline either. It's mostly like you're reading a book, so I often skip through those parts. I've known about the Three Kingdoms story since I was young, and have always enjoyed it. Later on, I frequently played games with a Three Kingdoms theme, mostly MORPGs. Now I'm trying out this Three Kingdoms RPG to see how it compares. As for the gameplay, the game has a lot of quests, both main and side missions, along with challenges, PvE, PvP, etc. The mechanics are introduced through tutorials at the beginning, and like most RPGs, there's an auto-battle feature. You just need to arrange your team to be as strong as possible. For me, in Three Kingdoms games, heroes like Zhu Liang, Sima Yi, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, Zhao Yun, Zhou Yu, Lu Bu, and Cao Cao are very powerful. If you have them, you should level them up as much as possible because they can carry your team. Basically, this game is quite accessible to players aged 10 to 50 because it's easy to play. The main thing you need to focus on is strategy, while the rest can be left to auto battle, which makes it suitable for people who are busy with work and life. However, since this is a Chinese game, there aren't many players from around the world, and the game is only available in Chinese. But don't worry, with the 7X game app, you can download and play the game normally, and it even has a built-in translation feature to help you overcome the language barrier. Follow my steps to see how to translate directly within the game. As for the game mechanics, there's nothing too innovative. Most RPGs share the same mechanics, such as unlocking functions at certain levels, like journey, PvP, PvE, artifacts, tower climbing, etc. Winning mainly depends on your combat power, but having a good strategy can also help you defeat players with higher power than you. Overall, the gameplay might feel boring to some, but for those who are busy with work, this playstyle never gets boring. 
One important thing is that Three Kingdoms games often feature a wide variety of characters. If you're a fan of collecting heroes, games like this will definitely satisfy your passion. As for the graphics, the game is designed in a chibi cartoon style with a more feminine touch. Uh, most of the male characters look quite feminine too, but that's fine as long as they look good. Um, the game does invest in the setting, though it's a bit limited compared to the, the Three Kingdoms film, which has many scenes that could have been added to the game. The colors are quite beautiful, and since it's cartoonish, the palette is bright and vibrant, which will appeal to those who enjoy colorful visuals. Personally, I think it's pretty average compared to other games, as this is a common motif in all RPGs. Most of them are just as colorful. The effects in the game are okay, though I feel they don't really match the original scenes from the Three Kingdoms movies. However, since it's a game, that's understandable. At first glance, the effects seem more similar to those found in mythological games. Now moving on to the sound. In my opinion, the background music is great, quite powerful. As you know, Chinese games tend to invest, uh, invest a lot in their music, and the background tracks are usually very engaging. The sound effects aren't anything special, they're pretty much the same as in other games. However, the voice acting is quite cute for both male and female characters. Personally, I really like the voice acting from Chinese actors because their voices sound incredibly cute. But if you're not a fan of that cuteness, this game might not be for you. The strengths of the game are that it's easy to play, suitable for all ages, has beautiful graphics, great sound, and is easy to access for players. It offers many game modes that challenge players daily. The game has a large variety of characters with diverse styles, well-designed characters, and beautiful settings. However, the weaknesses include the somewhat boring gameplay, which might not appeal to those who enjoy exploration. They might get bored after just a few days. The game lacks enough scenes and the graphics are a bit childish, so those who prefer realism might not find this game suitable. Since the game is based in China, it's not well known among international players. International players can only download the game through 7 Buys Game, so share this video with your friends so they can join in and play with you. After all, playing games with friends is always more fun, right? In summary, this game is suitable for those who don't have much free time. You can play it anywhere, even while working. Just make sure your boss doesn't catch you. However, when you're feeling stressed, it's best not to play any game, as most games require focus for arranging teams or strategies, which might increase your stress. I rate the game 6,800 points. I'm not sure if I'm being too harsh, so feel free to leave your own rating in the comments below. Some advice before you start playing. You'll need an Android phone to download the 7X app or a PC with an emulator to play 7X game. When you start the game, make sure to complete all the tutorials and then finish all the missions until there are no more available. Once the tutorial ends, you should do a 10X gacha to get strong heroes and then focus on leveling them up and increasing their star ranks. After playing for a while, uh, prioritize the heroes that have a better chance of getting stars, as upgrading stars is the hardest part in any game and provides the biggest boost in combat power. That's the end of this review. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support my channel. Now let's watch some gameplay while waiting for the gift code at the end of the video.
没人能逃过我的法眼。来降临！